I could have saved him. Curator said yeah, that Charlie's goose, is, goose may here. be cooked. So we're That's a hint. He might, not, he might have made it. I might have made the right choice there. If I did make the wrong choice, then I think this is our main party is this a here. Good idea? Because Charlie could have gotten option. it there. If that would have been it for Charlie, I guess it would have just been it for him. Where the hell are we? Alright. A bathroom. But yeah, they're ancient, ancient, ancient descendants. Uh, but really, I'm not gonna like. Red. Where are we? <clears throat> Columbus here. Columbus. Honestly, that's kind of weird. I'm a little bit afraid to top up. Oh boy, this looks like a huge puzzle area. Like a real work of art. Son of a bitch. He's watching us. He has to be. There's no other way to explain his ability to do any of these things. Light foreman, just Clark. Keep looking around. Right, right. Yeah, I think so. That's it. But yeah, there must that. be something useful around here. All right. So yeah, we can just go over here now. Makes sense. Platforming. In my adventure. Oh, that was a self jump scare because I didn't see that coming. I have no idea what you can do. I have no idea what you can do. Okay. There. <gasps> Jesus. Reception. That looks like the obvious place to go. Christ. All right, let's inspect this door.
This way? This game is absolutely messing with you. It's making you think that there's a way to unlock all these doors. Oh, that's the way out. Okay. So what's this then? Uh, worth a try. I'll see if I can get this open. You guys keep looking for another way out. Mark? Give me a hand. I think we can bust through this thing. Three, two, one, go! Okay? What happened? We'll get back to you. Stay there. Just hurry! Oh, that hurt. What? This, this wasn't in the script. I... Okay, now we can unlock business cards. Five business cards. I, I did not see that earlier. Okay, so five business cards. So he's just murdered the entire construction crew. Great. And turning them into taxidermy. I quit immediate resignation letter from one of the construction going workers. Teeth and ear removed. Taking a victim's bodies apart. This is pretty much just what if Hush was actually a serial killer. What if we were literally just dealing, cutting out the BS? <laughs> That's actually funny, man. You knew something was gonna come up because it come up, so it wasn't like scary, but that was just funny. Uh, 
<sighs> Franklin Halidine. Frank Halden, project engineer. Hmm. Kind of. But, and honestly, it's kind of weird. Basically, we do try, and, we're, and, and I figured. Ten. God damn. Seriously, well, I, guess, I guess we're not going to spend those in game, and that's just how we unlock bonuses the home menu or something like that. Yet. Okay, so we climb. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Stay close. Obviously. <laughs> huh. What the fuck just happened? Yeah, you know what? That's perfectly fine. Nope. Can't go back down. Alright. Well, right. No point just standing around. I don't know. Fucking damn. All right. <sighs> Shit. This is a scary part. <sighs> There's got to be a way through. Even they're broken. Like. It requires a gun. There. Oh, yes, yes, again. I'm all for your finesse. Yes. Seriously, it's creepy. I know. Yeah, I know, but look. Well, yeah, I know, but look. You mailed out. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. She likes gigantic. He. I actually really. And I don't really know. There must be a way out. Okay. All right. So I want to have a balancing puzzle, actually. There must be something useful around here. Uh yeah. Good thing everyone is fairly young and athletic, otherwise this game would be impossible to beat.
Seriously, all this killer has to do is target people Keep that are around. not physically able. And he pretty much would be untouchable. No. Oh. All right. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit. You pretty much have to get it the second it comes up. What are you talking about? He's trying to scare us. Tell us something. Guess at the play. I th oh, no, it's a key. All right. Spot master. Okay. Here, I could have also saved the play with magic right this up. Only on the second playthrough. Mark, here. Let's move the desk. <laughs> Mark? Jamie? Here. Kate. We're okay. We're okay. <sighs> Thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here.
further? This way. One eight eight one zero one eighty one. Sorry. Okay, you're alive for now. Get away from me. Okay, so it becomes obvious when or not a character is like not as important to the plot in these types of games, unfortunately, because you have to be able to keep the story. Oh, oh that's interesting. Oh, no. Oh, this is serious. This is insidious, man. Erin, are you okay? Please say you're all right. Get me out of here! Hurry up! It's another trap! <sighs> They're both locked. Shit! Mm -hmm. What was that? Uh, oh, no problem, huh? Ah, uh, no thanks. It's not gonna be a most of the team, right? But this is why I feel like to tell. Let me tell your story. Whoa, who's a big? I, I can't. Please tell I me you still have your goddamn Alan Haley. These windows are welded in place. He fucking wants us to watch. Wait, look. Regulator switch. Will that give the mayor? No. Not both of them. It's sucking out all the air. Whoever we point this lever at is gonna die. What? Do something! He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. I can't. If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. You're both gonna lose a love interest. More the other. Please. Interesting. Please. I don't wanna die. I don't want to die. You have your inhaler. Have Let me use it, man. No! I also have to remember that the cover star is usually... I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna flip a coin. Straight up. Heads will save Kate. Tails will save the person on the right. Sorry, we're going to have to kill Aaron because we have to save Kate. I'm so sorry. You have to flip a coin for it. I, I can't I'm sorry, Aaron. I, I'm so sorry.
So it's not possible to free everyone? I... Jesus, Erin, she's, she's, she's gone. She's just fucking gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, that's Erin. dirty. I... Thank you. What the fuck was I supposed to do? I mean, you didn't like Kate. Us. You could have just this killed her over right. your he wannabe girlfriend. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective. I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. Become genre savvy. Time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. He has to be at this point. Go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on the line. Maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of this? So, maybe hiding in the cupboard is the thing that forces this choice to happen. Because, yeah. This really didn't get a lot of development. Complicit. No one is going to believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? <laughs> Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Jamie! Wait, no, no, no! Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, my God! camera Boom <laughs> boy so we that that thing broke All right, it's your turn to be played. The awesome flashlight equivalent? Yeah, I think you just share with me.
Oh, right, right, the thing. The mount matches. Perfect. Jesus Christ. You're slick, huh, game? He's making one of her. He's making one of everyone. 72. 93. Okay, I was about to say. Sixty-eight, eighty-three. It would... Jesus Christ, this is literally, oh boy. Okay, so you, so everyone basically has a flashlight type of thing. Oh boy, here comes a jump scare.
Christ, this entire level is just being alone with the psycho. He's gonna catch us sooner or later. We are not solid snake. Crazy animatronic telling you to press a button that makes a short circuit is. Well, I gotta admit, this guy's inventive. Okay, obols are currency, currency, coins for unlocking special models in the diorama. Okay, so we need to. Okay, so we unlock special features by buying these pickups. So Hector one day is FBI? Photograph of a group of new recruits at FBI training. One of the faces has been redacted by a thick black marker. The man obscured is probably Hector. So that no one can identify him. So the black guy you met earlier might be Hector Monday. Confidential. Okay. Shit. Psychological assessment conducted by Dr. Isabella Garcia. Patient name, Monday, Hector. Behavioral observation. Hector arrived at our scheduled appointment 24 minutes late. Once we sat down and began the session, he struggled to maintain eye contact. He found it difficult to articulate his feelings and was terse and guarded throughout. Hector has been working that long hours and, weird. as a result, so isn't sleeping well. Hector spoke about his recently deceased mother and displayed evidence that he hasn't yet fully come to terms with her death. I get that. I strongly yes. recommended a course of antidepressants. 
but he is resistant to this idea, believing that it would have a detrimental effect on his I capability so with regards to his current investigation. Hector describes his work in immaculate detail, and contrary to earlier in the session, his thought content is both coherent and logical. He is displaying an unhealthy obsession with his work, but his recent bereavement may be the underlying issue. Oh, so he was a psychiatric patient. Okay. I half expected the killer to just come up from behind him with a jump scare. Yo, I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement. All right, so no backtracking for us. Fuck. I'm sorry about that. So now what? Okay, so it actually is a puzzle we have having to fit, right? Hey, fix all the fuse boxes, so we are not seeing any more of that puzzle, according to the game. Yes! There we go! Are you fucking kidding me?
Huh? I gotta admit, the thing the whip bomb is some epic trolling after all that. Forcing you to kill someone to save someone else. False to one way mirror. This is really. Un this is genuinely. Ooh, yeah. Mark! Okay. So, this is a little bit earlier than that. Crushed. Oh my god. Okay. So, whatever you need. Okay. So, whatever happens. Jump scare. Jump scare. Oh, this is the part from the trailer for this game. After the end of the first, the last House of Ashes picture. Oh! to the art museum downtown they got this painting by a guy i forget his name famous painter he did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks you take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out you make it into a painting and suddenly it's art there's no difference between the two not really don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end. That's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist, a sculptor, an architect. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on then, huh? I'm right here. Did this guy corrupt this Agent Monday into a You don't even train? have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. Good, huh? But the blade 
makes for such a prettier picture. Uh, you've got potential, Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. Give him away this house works and see how you get crushed later on if I don't play smart. Come Jamie. On. And now, month segment with Kate. <laughs> Damn it. I'm pretty sure Kate is the only one that doesn't have some sort of flashlight equivalent. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Everyone's got a goddamn flashlight. All right. All right. Uh, basically, oh, this is. Oh. So, yeah. So far, the cases is like. Who says self-help books don't work? Yo. Damn. Hello? <laughs> I'm a fairy tale wizard. The jock can get a little creepy sometimes, but it's like. Oh, boy. I'm... Okay. <sighs> Alright. Bethany. Was one of the daughters named Bethany? That was like a... Connie. Kate found the doll named Connie on it. Mysterious creature? Oh, really? Well. Jamie listened to a tape of Hector Monday assaulting Manny Sherman. Alright. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So Manny Sherman corrupted Hector. So the prevailing theory I have here is that Hector Sherman was is the killer. And that he was corrupted into being a serial killer by Hector Monday before Monday was like the pose from the FBI or whatever. Article cut from a local newspaper. May Sherman's corpse was stolen from its grave. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. There was concern about this mental state he had become obsessed with the killer that he was investigating. Yeah, okay. 
Oh my god. Okay, so it's all coming together now. Hector didn't just corrupt. So Sherman didn't just corrupt Monday. Monday is practicing taxidermy to to sculpt pieces of Sherman's face on the hands. That's basically like if you collect enough of these clues, you can figure out what the plot is in these games before you get to the reveals. That's how they're structured. They have to be mysteries as well, so you have to be able to follow along with the plot at your own pace. Please stop crying, Mommy. Jesus Christ. That misses. My Joseph Morello. So that wasn't Dumet on the ferry. Yo, okay. So Morello is the identity for FBI. The author's picture is the man who ferried him to the island. Wait, Charlie is down there with complicit. What does this have to do with him? Her schoolwork was stacked by her bed, and her childhood toys and dolls were still displayed on shelves. What stuck at most though was her uniform, still hanging in front of the wardrobe, ready for her shift at the diner. The next day, Mary was a tiny girl, only five, one, and weighed less than 100 pounds. She didn't stand a chance that she was taken. I kept thinking about her room as she drove into town. It would have been an unremarkable place in 1995. It was close to a lifeless now. Mostly boarded up buildings, the only open shops were liquor stores, which had bums outside them, drinking at 11 a.m. It was as if the town had died when Mary did. Eventually, Milton fate my rearview mayor, as the image of Mary's uniform buried her mind. Go ahead and alley right now, please. Later next day, I finally got back to our house. Scram. Package time her doorstep of brown box. I had no idea who it was from. Had Michelle over something? Curiosity overtook the hall inside. Opening, I found an old tape recorder along with quartet of tapes. This is the first one to worst cycle with Sherman. Nope. Mention the interviews. Bonds, I was glad they're leaving. The nice folks, the stewards, real nice. Both in their seventies, though. Death's still strong as an ox. I've been a military man before moving to town to settle as our family. <laughs> Most of I get a little friendly card tells you the, that's my character there. Get out of here. Seriously. Yes, <sighs> ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Came okay, dead behind the eyes look. 26 years on, still living in that cocoon. No one's still such a devastation you bring. Talk a lot, they're used to talking about anything. The night happened, the cruel details, how they felt about him. It was just a fact.
You're supposed to find that what was written on the torn paper. Okay. Alright. Yeah, okay, so this is your special skill. Alright. Yeah, I've heard about this, actually. I think I've done it before, too. Spear Room Code, 1999. In case you missed any Michelle. Spear Room Code. Okay. Premonition time. Oh. Dragged. Okay, so... Cured. That has not come up yet. So... Oh, it's a mannequin. Oh, of course, it's a mannequin jump scare. Oh my god! This is by far the goriest um, Dark Horrors anthology game ever. A writing journal containing an early draft of a new book by Joseph Morrell. There's a photograph of him in the back. Joseph was a man that met the crew in a ferry, impersonating Dumat. Unfortunately, we will never be able to say anything about this because this is a clue in the game. the right choice. Job makes sense here. Basically, it's really high, really high dangerous, and you're not useful. It would then have ever died. Uh, no one I know has ever connected and died in this room mission. Allegedly. Oh. <laughs>
And of course, the thing about these clues is if you collect more of them, you unlock additional context for each clue. So we just find the FBI badge doesn't tell us anything, but finding out not that Hector Monday is a person means we find out the badge belongs to Hector. piece of garbage. He recorded his victim at the time of his demise. Rescan. Rescan. Character there. God. Oh boy. Sorry about that. This is a soup. And then you get out of there. Sure. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want to do. Oh, and uh, I'm aware of that. I don't really care though. Oh, this is the part. This is where it happens for sure. Woo boy. Focus. Focus. <coughs>
just like sense when we're hiding or something. Shit! It's me! Get in here! Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah, I think this is time for us thank to save God. Jamie then. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Demet running around. No. Oh no. Jesus. God, what this is, is a very Jeff Kramer like area. Recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. True enough. Take a look at this. What a sick, sick bastard. He sounds like a sick bastard. What is that? The oh, guy we no, saw murdered. It was a setup. There was no groundskeeper. We saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Oh, he's in full control of his actions. So crazy wrong. implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Right. Here's the Wait, thing. He's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure. Like low self esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, if did his mommy not hug you him are enough? capable of acting in a manner that Bad suggests that you were afraid of being caught and your defense attorney tries to go in the same defense or an uncle out of your figure, really. criminal intent or behavior. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. Then yeah, it turns out you're not actually insane. Doing things like removing and creating sure evidence from the, the crime scene is pretty much Bullied the best kid, way to tell you're not actually anger. insane. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. He 
He's been tracking us since we arrived. Charlie Mark was last seen in the basement. In the furnace. Aaron in the suffocation room. Mark. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff. Okay, so he thinks Charlie's dead. Aside That's from the important unhealthy thing. obsession he, with hate. But he hate knows Holmes? Aaron's gone. He's copying the MO. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. Can we use this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. Chicago Police! Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. This is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Sorry, Carl. Costume design, do you to put a lot of research and effort into creating a look that mimics Triple H? Huh, obsessed with serial kids. I get people who have a fascination with serial killers and studying their methodology in real life. But if they can seriously stand looking at that type of stuff, I really applaud their mental fortitude. I would not be able to handle it. Just look at who was the here. most. Looking at serial killers look at with the highest buy count creates It's me all his little tricks and moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. All right. What's your plan? Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. Oh it's my too God. risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Yeah, being completely honest, yeah. James Jusky, Jake, he kept the screwdriver for herself. Okay, 
Yeah, this is not the That's time to be bitter moment. rivals. Really. The whole So the this. whole idea Stick behind the some of these characters Obviously. being jerks so how do we get out? to each other at the first place is Third to enable character development. Sometimes it works, like it did with um Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> With uh, Kolchek and Salim from the previous game, that was pretty cool. All right, time to actually confront the killer. This is the part where I get crushed if I get it wrong. So this is the probably the most plot relevant the your character will get if I make it keep you alive. Was this on the map? Uh-oh. You really need not to say that. Don't jinx yourself now. Something's behind here. <laughs> Yo, that's epic. Being scared by your reflection. More rooms being built. Huh. That one should be worth 10 if I've gotten... It's a bronze piece, so it's either worth 1 or 10. Oh, no. It was worth 10. Got it right. Premonition. Okay. <laughs> that must must be the special preview of the second season of the Dark Patreon anthology. But that'll come up when it comes up. Oh, this is the room where Aaron was. Okay. Oh well, that's just that. Okay. <sighs> okay, moment of truth.
Well, was not expecting that. There's a reverse symbol on it. What, what, what does it? Shit, no! Oh, no. <coughs> nope, it's not happening. <coughs> That's Move. not happening. Move! Game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. Jamie? I'm not doing it. I'm not playing this game. Tell everyone I chose this, Kate. And if you get the chance to fuck the met up, do it. Promise me. I promise. This is absolutely oh, sick. Fuck. <laughs> Jamie! Thank you. Thank you. Survive, Kate. Oh, look at this. Yeah, okay, that's not fair. What an excruciating way to go. Jamie wouldn't press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. Admirable. People can surprise you sometimes. Jamie chose not to save Erin when she could leaving her to die, deprived of oxygen, suffocating to death. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? Did the hint I gave you earlier help? I don't know. Perhaps you'd like another. Oh, boy. Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. All right. This is from The Man with the Twisted Lip. Have you read it? You should. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. 
I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching. <sighs> this feels close. really, really bad because it doesn't feel like I can actually help anyone. Like, it feels like these. <sighs> what? <laughs> yo, what? <laughs> oh, yo! Oh, that motherfucker. Yo! Oh, Come on. shit. I owe you. Come on. Hear that? All right, that's it for me, dog. I'm gonna like see you guys later. I need some sleep. <laughs>